Next, we have Cap App expert and farmer himself, Greg Dime, to share some product updates that will be very important heading into the planting season. Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Dime, Senior Product Manager here at Climate. As Daryl said, I'm a farmer myself. I grew up on a family farm in northern Iowa, still involved uh, actively. Uh, having that background has helped me impact how we at Climate are thinking about field view of tomorrow. As you've been thinking about everything we've learned today, there have been some very key points that have been brought up that I want to highlight in some product updates that we're thinking about and, and the product strategy that we're really trying to put in place. Our goal with Field View of Tomorrow is to ensure that each activity is supported on an app or device that our users prefer to use in order to do the job to be done. Those activities are a key piece of what we want to understand. When we look at the product strategy, we've really been focusing on three key areas. Data collection, collaboration, and management. Let's think about that job to be done when we're out in the field and we're actually collecting that data. What tools do we really need while we're in the act of creating that activity or creating that job or doing that job uh, and, and collecting the data? How about when we actually fast forward to end season? What do we need to interact with our data? Or ultimately from a management standpoint, how can we provide tools like seed scripts? How do we provide those in order so that you can manage and, and have a better outcome at the end of the season? When I think about the CAB app, the CAB app was designed for really one purpose, to help our and ensure our growers collected and visualized the data that they did while performing an activity in the CAB. The CAB app has been a powerful tool. It's been much more than that. And at that point, we determined that there were some limitations with the CAB app itself and the activities and the devices that we're, we're putting it on. From there, we have been dedicated to make sure we have the best possible in-cab experience, understanding what tools we need to allow you to help build the best data set so that you don't have dirty data. Having those tools while you're in the cab are really what we are focused on for that in-cab experience. However, we're stepping one, one step back and we're looking at what else can we provide for supporting tools? How else can we back up what the cab app has done for us so far? If you've been out on climate.com le lately, you've noticed that we've actually been putting some uh, enhancements out there. One of them is scouting on, on the web. When we think about the activity to be done while you're in the field, one of the biggest things that we've had, the benefit we've had is at your fingertips. When you scout your farms or you hire somebody to go out and scout your farms, you share your data with them. They have access to that data on an Android phone or an iOS, iOS phone or an iPad. Taking that to the farm to collect that data to scout your fields to help you learn, that is one of the benefits that we've had here at FieldView. We're taking it a step farther. Being able to access that data now on the, on the web allows us to actually come home and sit at our office on a bigger screen and interact with that data. By interacting with that in an almost a near time fashion, somebody could be out in the field collecting that data for you and actually you, you are sitting there watching it come in. You get to learn from that. And learning is really a key piece that I'm going to talk about when it comes around to the whole platform solution. Field region report is another one we're very excited about, uh, bringing field region report to the web. Many of you have heard, if you're climate users, current climate users, you know field region report is a very powerful tool in the CAB app. Taking that to the web allows us to actually have a full platform experience. The ability to dig in if you're sitting across a desk from a trusted advisor, from your insurance agent, from an agronomist, from a marketing advisor, you may have your iPad, much like I have mine here in front of me. You have it at your fingertips. That's been a benefit that we've had. It's on a device that you prefer to use when you want to use it. Having it on the iPad or an Android device gives it to you when you need it. Now, taking it back to your office, I know I have a 27-inch screen that I'd much rather play around with and actually look at than digging in deep into my iPad. Having that on the web allows us to dig in, analyze, and ultimately learn from our data. When I think about learning, the best way that I learn is to ask questions. I'm not afraid to ask questions. So as you've heard me say, learn from your data. How do we think that we can learn from our data? I want to be able to ask questions from it. Being able to look at yield analysis on climate.com 
Just a few weeks ago, we released the beta reports tab at the top of the, of the website. You may have seen it, you may have clicked on it, great. This is the beginning step of understanding how we can actually help you answer questions or ask questions of your own data. Every unique, every operation has a unique data set. Ask questions on, and learn from your own. Yield analysis on the web is just one of the beginning stages that we're really looking at on how we can provide the best experience on all platforms across the organization or the operation. So to wrap that up, let's think about those three guiding principles that I talked about. What tools do we need for collection? What do we need for collaborating? And ultimately, how do we turn that data that you're collecting and collaborating with, interacting with, how do we turn that around into value and provide that back to you? Those are the key guiding principles of our product strategy as we move forward with Fieldview of Tomorrow.